What's up guys, Joe Holland here. I am out here in central Maine fishing for one of my absolute favorite fish to catch through the ice. I just got done catching the state's second most hated invasive, the crappy, crappie, calico. That's one I forgot last time. And now I'm moving on to one of my absolute favorites, one of the favorites of most of the ice fishermen in Maine now. I'm going after number one on the hit list for the state of Maine, the Great Northern Pike. Pike have been in the state of Maine longer than I've been alive. They're still considered an invasive species. They're thriving in lakes that trout and salmon have really dwindled on for a long time. Yeah, so I just saw the Maine biggest area. fish. They um, had fangs. It looks they don't need to be right at me. Northern pike, it's an invasive species. Really what? It's not supposed to be here. State record. And they're very the dangerous to our ecosystem. Is they're terrifying. Pounds. We're going to look to try to break that. My personal best through the ice was just under 21 pounds, and I've caught hundreds over, over the 10 pound mark over the years. 20 pounds, 11 ounces. It's been a few years since I put out a pike video because it's just such a, it's such a weird thing here in Maine, like going for these big fish, people lose their minds. And I've had a lot of people like come follow me to pike spots and set up right on top of me and use the same holes I used the day before. And it just, it gets a little nasty and it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And we just have so many opportunities in the state to catch other fish that I decided last year just to move on and keep a good mindset and go catch other fish and, and take advantage of all our other opportunities. But I'm out here early. I'm the first guy out here for pike. I'm hoping to get a big one. I am not leaving till I catch a double digit. I didn't bring a lot of food, so hopefully I catch one within a couple days. Lucky for me, I've been storing all this fat for years just in case I get into a situation like this and the fishing's tough and I'm not able to catch a double digit fish. My favorite part about pike fishing through the ice is you get a flag on your tip up or trap and you have no idea if it's going to be a 10 pounder, a five pounder, or 25 pounder. Yes. That's the best part. And you're going to that That's flag and it could be bigger than your leg. What and there's the very few other fish. opportunities we have in the state now that just like that. I mean, pike. we have muskie and we have some lake trout like that, but we don't have a great lake trout fishery for size. We have, a, we have great lake trout fisheries for numbers where you can go catch a hundred or more two to three pound fish. What pike gives us is that opportunity to catch something giant like a 20 pound fish.
made it out with the first load. Then unload everything here, leave the second sled here, go back, get the floor, some propane, and a couple of last minute things, some food, and uh, be back in, hopefully get set up before dark. Right, made it out that uh that floor is kind of a beast i know i gotta switch over to rubber foam interlocking ones eventually it would have been perfect for this trip but i haven't done it yet so i really like my floor a lot <laughs> it's just dry and flat and nice so i brought it in took me two trips to get everything in wasn't too bad but trail riding's a little bit tough when you're bringing in a lot of weight i didn't get an exact measurement on the ice it's somewhere between five and a half and eight inches in that range there. I'm gonna go ahead and set up on the ice. I don't think I'll fish from the tent itself, you know, like jigging in the tent, but I will fish from it. So the weather looks pretty mild for the next week, you know, 14 to 25 degrees, which isn't too bad. So I'm gonna, I'm really late today getting out here. So what I'm gonna try to do is hurry up and get set up as quick as I can. So I have a place to sleep tonight. It looks like about six, seven inches. Double check. Didn't even get a chance to clean my floor off from the last trip. Yeah, looks pretty good. That wasn't bad at all. All right, now that I'm set up, let's check out camp. Here I have my cook station. I bring a little table here. These are like $40 at your Lowe's. It's like a plastic rubberized table. 
metal leg seems to hold up it's super lightweight and it fits perfectly in these pop-up tents i found you know there's plenty of room with a door and plenty of room between the wall and it's nice it's nice to have something you know this high to cook on so there's my cook stove that's a new coleman i'm trying out uh, i burnt a little bit of food last time it's really hard i think these things are made to do some deep frying or something with some serious heat because it's hard to control the temperature and keep it low enough i think so i'll give you a, a good honest report on that after i use it a couple trips underneath i have like food and kitchen stuff and probably some fish and stuff in there a couple things of water i got my light over here if you notice this year i don't have a bunch of lights hanging from the ceiling because i've pretty much replaced everything with this milwaukee light this tower here and that thing's set on its lowest setting now it'll go three settings on a five amp hour battery I think it runs just over 10 hours on the lowest setting from what we used it for in deer camp. All right, bag of clothes right there. Got my bed set up here with a cot and a cot pad. Got my trusty aluminum chair right here. Uh, fishing stuff there. Got the live scope and Garmin unit there. A bag full of batteries there for the auger, for the Milwaukee stuff. And that's about it for camp. Got the floor underneath me so i'm super sturdy gonna be really dry gonna be really nice and then out here i have my bait which i have some amazing shiners in there for pike i brought the markham to use try out the camera a little bit see if we can get the pike biting on camera uh luring pack basket these things are indestructible got my pike traps in there and some jig rods and then out here i brought the 40 volt 10 inch auger i also still have the pistol bit light flight there and I, I throw my propane canister outside uh, just in case any leaks or to have some more room outside too. Snowmobile set up and we are ready to go for, for that early bite first thing in the morning. I probably won't get a lot of sleep tonight. And it won't be because of a 40 to 60 mile an hour wind like last time. It's going to be because I'm excited to get that first line and first flag in the water and see if I can get a double digit here. Well, they are pretty quick. All set up, guys. That didn't take long if... If you guys are planning on doing some winter ice camping yourselves, uh, one thing I would recommend is not waiting till late in the day like I did. You know, that's one thing I try to avoid. It just kind of happened that way today. Just in case you have any trouble with your your snowmobile or your four-wheeler or, or whatever you're using for transportation or if something goes wrong or you realize you forgot something, it leaves you a lot of time with the light of day. So if you're new at it for sure, make sure you get an early break on it in the morning, get all your packing done the day before or the night before. If you've done it a bunch, obviously you know what you need to do and you can be pretty quick at it, but you still wanna leave yourself some room just for error, especially this time of year when the weather's rough or it's cold. But I got in here pretty quick and set up super quick tonight. Um, I just broke down from a trip two days ago where I was up north catching crappie. There's a tag right here if you haven't seen that one. That was a three-day trip with some really rough weather. So everything's ready to go. It's Everything's actually still frozen and wet. It's pretty mild, I'd say. So setting up was a breeze. There's no breeze or wind, which is crazy nice. I like that a lot. Pretty awesome day just being able to get all the way in here and everything ran flawlessly. Snowmobile, no problems. Sleds behind me, no problems. Got everything in here, didn't break anything. It's Everything's going pretty good. Weather's good, like crazy mild right now. I don't even know what to do. It's 19 degrees Fahrenheit and blowing 5 to 10, so nothing crazy there. I don't know what to do. It's not blowing 40 or 50 miles an hour and <laughs> below zero. Kind of feels weird. I'm like wondering if this is some kind of calm before the storm. But it looks good for the week coming up. Looks good there. Uh, crazy excited to get out fishing tomorrow. The pike, man, they just kind of get my blood boiling, especially in the winter. It's really, really a fun fish to catch. They're smart. They're, they're, uh, you know, they, you can catch smaller ones pretty easy and you could run into a big one too, but to target just big ones and actually catch them is, is a challenge. And it's, uh, man, it's nothing like it when you get a flag and you're going up to it and could be bigger than your leg, you know, and big old teeth and just an awesome predator fish. And, you know, there's a lot of, lot of people that, that really enjoy catching big fish and you can't do it here for, for much, you know. Some guys will run into a big togue once in their life, maybe, or decent salmon or decent brown. 
but to get something up over 20 pounds is your best bet's a pike or a musky. I'm stoked for tomorrow. I got all the gear pretty well ready. I got the coffee pot is ready to go. I just got to turn a button and turn it on and breakfast is ready to go. I got the potatoes already in the pan and got the bread all buttered up, ready to go on the griddle. It's I, I'm just excited. I, I'm ready to go in the morning. I'll probably be up bright and early. Coyotes were howling a little bit earlier. The ice is making some cracks, making some noise. That's always a good sound. I want to take this opportunity to really thank you guys for supporting the channel. The channel's been growing really well. I put a ton of hard work into it. This, it's, it's basically a small channel and, you know, pretty much small budget channel. I run it off GoPros. I don't have a a guy videoing or two guys videoing and another guy editing and and working on all the footage and you know working everything out behind the scenes like your other big fishing channels have it's me it's the gopros and it's out here just working as hard as i can to not only get you guys the good footage but also to get it uploaded and edit it and it's just so much fun for me to do and i i can't thank you guys enough for the support you know there's nothing better for me than opening up my youtube studio and getting a bunch of really positive comments and 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 learning that i inspired people to either go ice camping or go ice fishing or just getting outside or or do stuff like that there's three things that are really important to my channel and and every time i shoot a video if i hit these three things then i consider the video a success the first is to be able to inspire someone you know whether it be to just get out and try ice fishing or try winter camping or or just try going to catch a crappie or or using electronics or anything pretty much that you see me doing the second is to educate and pass on the wealth of information that people have taught me and educated me for fishing and going outdoors and and just being able to get yourself out of bad situations and even getting yourself into bad situations. But uh, education's a really important part to the channel. And then the third and the least most important is the entertainment value. You know, it's it's got to be entertaining too, in, in my opinion. So some videos you get one, some you get two. And to me, a successful video would have three. And, you know, those are the things that I shoot for when I'm making the videos. And I really enjoy bringing you guys along. And, and I really enjoy the community that, that's growing around this channel. So I just want to say thank you guys to that heartfelt thank you right there and and i look forward to making a ton of videos this winter and hopefully you guys keep enjoying them as much as i enjoy making them guys this is not a rerun but for dinner tonight guess what we're having i'm gonna have a pack of dia burger got some pablano peppers going in the pan and i just so happen to have a can of some classic beef gravy made by food club in 2001 <laughs> it's been on the shelf for a while i bet you she's still good it won't go bad but i'm gonna throw that all in the pot and let it simmer for a little while and boy that's good gravy good grub well dinner's looking good it's almost done if I hadn't spent all my money on fishing stuff, I would have had enough to get put some potatoes and onions in there. <laughs> That's amazing. Once his head starts, you could flop him right on the ice. Go ahead. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Yeah. That feels better. That might be Jumbo. That might be a jumbo. That's a good one. Oh yeah, that's a mega jumbo. <laughs> Look at that one, guys. All right. What's up? What's going on? You brought the all star team, huh? I forgot brother was your gas. Don't worry about it. I got you a breakfast. What's up? I'm coming back tomorrow anyways. So I'll bring it then. Sweet. <laughs> I got something huge. Do you? Yeah. It's, um, we just whaled like three or four crappy, and then something big came up. Just nailed this thing. I've been fighting it for a couple minutes. Nice. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? What? Look at that thing! Oh. All right, now bring him up. Yes, sir. New PB. Woohoo! Yes. Whoa! Yes, sir. Nice. 15, easy. I'm on like, seriously, 20th run right now. There he comes again. There he is, look at his head. Oh, yeah. Grab him, get him, grab him, grab him. Get him, get him, get him boys, get him. Get him. Yeah. yeah. Woo, <laughs> hey, Ben. Whoa. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. That's a big boy. Wow, that's, that's probably 20. 30, 40, 40 inches. 20 inches around. <laughs> Just barely fit through that hole. I'm almost out of breath. I'm so excited over this. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. See you later, big gator. Woo! Yes! They're terrifying! They're terrifying!